back. Here we are on Connected. I'm trying to make these short and titled so that you can access them easily and not have to watch half an hour's worth of stuff to get two minutes of information. So what I'd like to look at right now is the student edition. And you can do this once you're signed in as a teacher. It will show you what the students will see on their portal. So if you go down to your Wonders edition, student edition, and click on that, this is what your students will see, especially if they're in kindergarten. So this is the to do tab or button. To do. to do. If the students have any assignments from you, there would be a number in that circle. They can look at past assignments. We will look at more of those later. But you can see that it has opened up right to where my class calendar right now is set at. Good citizens, how can you be a good citizen? You can get back to that screen by clicking on the Wonders logo, or you can navigate using these circles at the bottom. It looks a little nicer to go from Wonders up here. These are the words to know, words to know. To know. that are introduced this week in the in the lesson so if you've used connect ed you're familiar with this the children have it right there at their fingertips they can click on the word they can hear what it is listen to the definition listen to it in a sentence if they'd like or if they have someone to help them they can look at the routine and the extension question. Click on the little icon, it will go to the next word, same thing. So all of those words that we're trying to reinforce during this week show up here. Right. right. In the right tab, for kindergarten, and I'm sorry, this is kindergarten is pretty much the only thing I know. Um, there are handwriting videos, handwriting practice, and lessons on writing. Eight pages of this right now that these kids can access either in your classroom or from home. So if, God forbid, we aren't able to start the year out in the classroom, you can start your routine with them as soon as you're ready. If a student is out for a vacation or an illness, they don't necessarily have to miss what you're doing in the classroom. This one is called games. Little do they know that they are really learning. Games. games. These are all the activities that you would see in your Connect Ed lesson. So they can click on them and do them all by themselves. It checks for them, it reads the directions, everything is right there. I use these in class and my children have to pass the pointer to be able to come up and choose answers and I know that they would love to stand there and just do all of the sentences or all of the activity. And in this way, when we get our students logged into this, they can do it on their own. Read. Read. All of the stories for this week are in here. The leveled readers that go with the week are here. The entire story that we use you can set the, uh, the leveled readers. That's where you're choosing their level back in the class details really helps. This will give them the correct leveled readers. This adaptive learning tab is something that I'm very excited about. Adaptive, adaptive learning. learning.
processing. So from a kindergarten point of view, the adaptive learning, and we're looking from the teacher's point, you can choose a strand to see an activity. So we're looking at phonemic awareness, phonics, phonological awareness, structural analysis. I haven't clicked on phonological awareness yet. Then I would choose a skill. What do I want to work on? I'm going to work on rhyme. My kids always have trouble with that. These are the different games that they have available for the strand and, and this activity. These are the classes that I've had enrolled. So we're just going to choose the one that I have right now. I could run reports. Click find. There's the activity. I can Hi there, it. engineer. This robot is running out of juice. Use what you know about rhyme to power up the robot. Sort the pictured words into groups that rhyme. Click check when you are finished. Watch first. Which rhyme? Aint, now it's your turn. Which rhyme? So she gives me the directions. Pink. I can hear the words before I try and sort them. I want to hear all the words. Send. Sink. Lend. So I've got a good Pink. idea. Pink. Pink. Send. Send. Sink. Lend. Bend. Sink. And yes, I did do one wrong on purpose. Try again. Which rhyme? Uh, so it's going to make me start all over again. It doesn't tell me which ones I did correct. Sink. Sink. Send. Lend. Bend. Pink. Sink. Sink. Rhyme. They end with ink. Send. Lend. Bend. Rhyme. They end with end. What's really neat about the adaptive learning is when the children first go in to the adaptive learning as, as a student, it gives them a, an assessment, for lack of a better term. It will assess their skills and it will design a learning path specific to their needs which I think is fantastic. So there's school to home letters up here. Hopefully your families are participating and can see what you're working on in school. Other resources that they can look at. All of the leveled readers there, additional student reads, skills practice, there are your papers. There are the pages that we would use in class. Writing and research. I haven't looked at all of these yet. This is where the past assignments that the students have done would come up. And when we look at making assignments, I will show you how you can leave notes to your students about what they are submitting. So that is the student portal, um, a brief overview. See you soon, bye.